But what's the overall climate for digital assets in Asia and Singapore? I guess we're, we're really at the forefront um, of the evolution of, I guess, the, the regulated institutional adoption of digital assets. Uh, there's a lot going on uh, in Asia. Um, we are the we are the only licensed digital asset platform in Hong Kong, for example. Um, we, you know, we've we've really fostered and grown the regulatory, I guess, the regulatory framework and been a part of that in Hong Kong, uh, which which has, I guess, facilitated institutional adoption. Um, we actually announced a a partnership earlier this week with Interactive Brokers um, to be able to provide their professional investing clients in Hong Kong a means of safely, securely. Uh, dealing with a regulated platform, um, the I guess the, the Singapore market is also extremely vibrant. The Monetary Authority of Singapore has fostered a, a very open, uh, innovative uh, environment for uh, for digital assets, which continues to to evolve. Um, you know, we look down to Australia. The regulations in Australia have also uh, are evolving very, very quickly. Um, I guess all of those things together are allowing institutions, be they asset managers, banks, uh, wealth managers, or wirehouses, all of that. It's allowing them to make make digital assets available for uh, for their customers.